Wrecking man, play my song on the radio. You too busy trying to find that blue eyes. So I let my black hair grow and my What's up, guys? This is Corey Clement from the University of Wisconsin, and you're watching my path to the NFL drafts. I just won a new award for a kid show. Talking about a face, I'm in the back. Finds a nice save against free into Huskers territory. It's been a childhood dream. I've uh, been dreaming about it since I was at least 15 years old. They don't understand what it was like. And, uh, you know, it's one of those feelings you gotta can't take for granted. Going into this draft, uh, another part of my strength is that I have vision, patience within my style of football. And uh, growing up, I've always had a knack for just picking out where people are going to go and uh, always uh, seeing before the snap. My style of running is uh, definitely downhill, uh, bruiser. Um, I come from a pro style offense. But uh, we normally switch around a bit. I mean, I'm very versatile, uh, definitely on the outside. And um, I, come from, I come from a system with a fullback, but uh, I mean, I've definitely been in on 11 personnel, so to say, with you know, no fullbacks at all, and definitely uh, turn nothing into something. Sum it up into one year. Now, I've never faced so much adversity, handle it all on my own, and that was 2015. Uh, going through injuries and off the field issues and uh, I just think it helped mold me so much better and become a better person you Now everybody makes mistakes. You know, it's, you know, it's reality. And it's, that's what it's going to come down to and I'm definitely fortunate that mine came into college because on the next level It's going to be enhanced. There's going to be fines that I'm going to have to pay and uh, I think that's just my lesson and uh, Whether I grow up now or I don't I only got one more chance and uh, you know, to prove to everybody that I'm Corey coming from Glassboro, the nice guy that everybody knows, I had to stay humble, healthy, and keep a calm, cool, collective mind as to you know what my true goal was as to graduate from Madison. Like, oh snap, I can win the Heisman one day. And uh, that's one of those things, you have to be the top in the country at college football, which is definitely one of those most prestigious were, uh, awards that you can win. And um, being from a small town of Glassboro, New Jersey, who would have ever thought I'd be in a runner for that? Um, my confidence. Uh, I think if you don't have confidence, you shouldn't be out there on the field at all. I'm the best man out there. You gotta have confidence. It's not cocky at all. It's just confidence with swagger. And uh, every time I approach it, I know where it's supposed to hit, uh, what I need to do, how fast I need to hit it, and if it doesn't work, I'll come back the next play, keep trying. This is gonna be Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell, if you watch his tape, he basically walks up to a hole. So that just shows patience. And uh, when he sees it, he goes, and, and that goes right along with his vision. And uh, that would definitely go along with you know, one of the pro athletes who I would love to work with in the offseason. You saying both? Boy, fast. I wear A01 on uh, my tape uh, to understand that you know, you're only playing for one person, and that's the man above. And uh, to be able to be criticized by anybody else uh, is definitely foolish. You know, he's the one you know, controlling everything. You got to be the one to glorify him through all your accomplishments. So, if anything, if you think it's just you, you're wrong. The first thing I'm gonna do when the team calls my name on draft day is you know, definitely you know, hug both of my parents, you know, say thank you for uh, you know, being a part of this, this road, and this road it hasn't stopped. And I uh, just want them to continue on and uh, just you know, keep staying in my back pocket and uh, keep treating me as a son that I've always been. Uh, the youngest of the two, and uh, you know, hug my brother as well. My parents were around a seven growing up. Straight, yeah. My mom, 
my dad was more laid back on things. And then that's when my mom got mad at my dad for being so laid back on things. He's still laid back on things to this day. <laughs> no, when, when I get in trouble, he gets in trouble too. So it's just not a one man thing. Cause I would tell on him. I definitely can uh, produce music. I can produce music for my brother. And uh, along with that, I love fashion. I would love to be sponsored by Urban Outfitters. So uh, Urban Outfitters or uh, and uh, Calvin Klein. So um, I want to be a model one day too, so. Uh, I had a high school sweetheart. I did. What was her name? Oh, no names. No names. Okay. That person right, so knows who. Are they the last road in Jersey? Yeah. Okay, so if they were trying to come back on draft day, what they had, give me a check. I'd be like, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Making good. What? Making good. Why making good? Yeah, I've always wanted to be making good. Saw her in Waist Deep. And uh, all her other movies she's been in, Roll Bounce. I gotta be back good one day. Yeah, if anything, I'll be the first to part of the table. I don't care. I'll let it rip. I just wanna get my comfort level right out the way. 